Oh, what's the matter, guy? Can't sleep? Maybe you need a nice bedtime story. <laughs> How about a dead time story to scare them to sleep? That's crazy talk, mister! Then how come I just found the perfect book in the outhouse? Look! The boogeyman's back! Ah! Ah! Huh, what do you know? It worked. Don't you dare read to the end of this book or you'll free the boogeyman. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, yeah. That book used to scare the diapers off me. Hmm. I'd say it's about a zero on the scarometer. You can fly a balloon in the sky so blue, but the boogeyman will still get you. You can run to the lake and paddle a canoe, but the boogeyman will still get you. Hmm, didn't see that coming. I don't want to hear this! I'm not listening, I'm so not listening! La, 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 la. Gee, Gretchen, I wonder how this book ends. You're not supposed to read the end, or you'll free the boogeyman! Weren't you listening? He'll throw you in a pot and stir up a stew. The boogeyman will get you and all your friends, too. And the end. See? No boogeyman. Congrats, Squirt. You faced your fear head on. More like head down and under the covers, but close enough. You should have this, pal, because like I always say, face your fear and your fear will disappear. Man, no way, no how! <laughs> Just a sticky hunt, Squirt. But uh, is that book still freaking you out? Me? Nah, I'm totally. <laughs> ah! The Boogeyman! <laughs> The bookie man. <laughs> this is just last night's leftovers. Come on, Squirt. You gotta get over this. Yeah, bud. There's just no such thing as the boogeyman. I guess you're right. But if it's all the same to you, I'll just hide under here for a while. Well, don't hide too long. It's time for dance class. Let's boogie the boogeyman blues away. <laughs> Oh, jeez, that kid's got to get a hold of himself. He's built like a freight train, but he's afraid of the boogeyman. <laughs> the boogeyman! <laughs> Remember, Candles, dance expresses your innermost feelings. Whoa! What are you expressing, Squirt? I think you'd call it fear. Also anxiety, dread, and full-on terror. I don't know. We kind of freaked him out by reading the boogeyman's back last night. Relax, buddy. It's only a... Ah! The most terrifying children's book of all! <laughs> wow, that is hard to say with a straight face. Not helping, Armand. Come on, Squirt. If I weren't so terrified, I'd say... Whee! <laughs> well, I suppose dance class is cancelled. Time for chocolate slugs, ah. Uh. Sweet sluggy goodness. <laughs> Come to Papa. Um. <laughs> huh? Back in the closet with you. Oh, now where did I leave those sarsaparilla snake knees? <laughs> Squirt, you gonna let a kid's book stop you from swimming? Remember. Face your fear, and your fear will disappear. You're right, Gretchen. From now on, there is no boogeyman! Exactamundo. No! I threw the book out the door last night, and now it's gone! Ah! Somebody probably put it back in the outhouse, where it belongs. Then I'm not going to the bathroom for the rest of the summer! 
Come on. A nice cold swim will help chill you out. Bart! Brad, you coming? In a sec. <laughs> hey, Squirt, what do you think of Sawyer's new digs? <laughs> Delightful accommodation. Yes, yeah, sir. A zombie's home is his castle. <laughs> and a tickly one at that. Look at my toes, Scratch. <laughs> I'm not touching your toes, Sawyer. Well, if you ain't, then who is? <laughs> the Boogeyman! Sawyer! Hello, Gretchen. Read any good books lately? <laughs> Thanks, Slimes. Squirt Buddy, what's all the screaming? I can barely hear myself tumble. It's the bu 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 The Boogeyman? For the last time, pal, there's no such thing as the Boogeyman! Oh, man. This is a real I told you so moment, isn't it? Read it again! Story is all new, but one thing's the same. <laughs> Your friends are going in my stew. Don't worry, Squirt. I'll be back for you. <laughs> Any sign of Sawyer? Nope. But uh, no sign of the boogeyman either. Maybe he'll leave us alone. <laughs> <laughs> you can fly in a balloon. In the sky so blue, but the boogeyman will still get you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we read the book. <laughs> Let's bounce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Page. Now let's row, row, row this boat. <laughs> you can fall in a lake and paddle in a canoe, but the boogeyman will still get you. Boogeyman! <laughs> hey. No, 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 no! <gasps> oh, you'll never find us in here. You read the same book I did, right? You can hide in a closet or inside a shoe, but the boogeyman will still get you! Never liked this chapter. <laughs> oh, oh, my best buddies need me! I, I can do this! Face your fear and your fear will disappear, scared or not! Here I come! <laughs> you can't escape! <laughs> You'll be my snack! Oh no, they won't! I've got their backs! Whoa! Nice plot twist, Squirt! I, I, I did it! <laughs> or maybe not. Squirt, come on! It's time to turn the page! <laughs> Smells like monster stew. <gasps> Thanks, campers. The steam was playing havoc with my fur. Meh. But that boogeyman doesn't know from cooking. Mm, but you gotta love that zombie kick. You guys just had to read the end of that book, didn't you? Yeah, we were trying to get you to face your fear. <laughs> Stay back! <laughs> no one will save you here. Certainly not Squirt. He can't face his fear. <laughs> face your fear and your fear will disappear. Yo! Pokemon! Yeah. Fall in that pot and we'll make you the stew! <laughs> That's not how the story goes! It is now! I rewrote the ending! Nice one, Squirt! Boy. Now no 
one will ever be scared by the boogeyman again. Yeah! myself I wouldn't cry. McGee gets a crown? There's only one head of crown belongs on, and that's mine! Jeepers! Ah! Jealousy bugs are bad this year. will be mine. Even if I have to cozy up to McGee's grody friends to get it. Speech! Speech! You know, a best buddy couldn't be a best buddy without best buddies to be a best buddy with. Wow! Bravo, baby brub! Wow! I wish I could learn how to be such a good friend. Really? Seriously? Kind of a surprise, but cool. Yeah, well, stick around and I'll, I'll teach you the old McGee magic. I think I made the crown too tight. What do you say, guys? Will you let Susie hang out for me? Your bestest best bud? Yep, definitely too tight. Ah, <laughs> sure, McGee. Wouldn't have it any other way. Best buddy class is now in session. Lesson one. Find a common interest with your new pal. Like hair. What do you know about hair? Me? Nothing. But my buddy Armand, on the other hand... Such shiny, lustrous locks. Stand back, McGee, and watch your master work follicular magic. <gasps> it's hideously... Fabulous! Your turn. <laughs> Susie, you may be hostile and snide, but who cares when I look this good? <gasps> you hear that, Suze? You made a friend, I think. I know! Give me more! I mean, why stop at just one? What's next? How about lesson two? Make friends with your friend's friends. This is muffin pie. This little guy, sweetie pie. And this rascal is cutie pie. Uh, Squirt? Maybe we're moving too fast. No way! Animals love me. And I totally love them. <whistles> Hit it, Burbles! I never thought I'd say this, but Susie can lead my parade anytime. Lesson three. Turn an old enemy into a new best friend. Come on, go on, Susie. You're up. Wow, Gretchen, those are some killer karate moves. Um, thanks. Wanna give it a shot? No need to ruin a manicure when I've got kung fu follicles. You seriously owe me for this. Whoa! Can I try? Sure! 
sure. A quick mist for tensile strength. Now let the dew dominate. Hi! Yeah. Thanks. Man, these big tails pack a punch. Woo! Once again, Mickey, you've achieved the impossible. Ha ha! Look at me! I'm an Olympian! Time for a butt break, Jordan. <laughs> that crown is as good as mine. Hey! Which of my new BFFs wants to get their bounce on? I do, I do, I do! Gangway! <laughs> Could it be? Susie just bounced her way into all of our hearts! <laughs> hey, sis, you got any room in there for me? Sorry, McGee. This is an exclusive invite-only party. <laughs> this is Lake Bottom. I'm always on the guest list. Take a hint. Me and my friends don't want you here. Your friends? Wait! You didn't want to learn how to be a best bud. You just wanted to steal mine! Bingo, brub brub. Wait! What? You know, Suze, you can't buy friends with just lies in a bounty castle. But you can rent them by the bounce. Armand! My apologies. Why do mean people always have fun things? We might bounce with Susie. But we stand with McGee. You're my friends. Now get in that castle and have fun. That is an order. <gasps> jealousy bugs. They feed off one's jealousy. <coughs> Just one bite can have terrible consequences. What about a hundred bites? Susie <coughs> 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 want friends. <coughs> Work through these feelings of jealousy, shall we? How about a little? <laughs> well, it's get you. Oh. You, Susie, friend, not the key friend. <laughs> Whatever you say, oh big green-eyed muscly one. <laughs> get your giant paws off my friend! Drop <laughs> oh, that squirt! Hi! Susie, take friends! Hey, camper! Need air support? And I'll take care of the fancy flying. You man the cannon. Um, cannon? Relax, camper. They're filled with bug garnet juice. Yep, smells like victory to me. Sawyer, for someone who's undead, you're a real lifesaver. Thank you. McGee's beauty friends need Susie's beauty friends. Susie deserves best friend crowd. What puppy smell? Is there anything you can't see the bright side of? Not so far. I'll keep you posted. Ah! Susie! Let my pals go! You can't force them to be friends with you! Beauty McGee has Susie's crown! Lock and load, McGee! Looks like we're gonna have to do this the hard way!
lesson. Friends never let friends fall off volcanoes. If they can possibly help it. Oh, so glad you're back. Now that I've taken your friends, McGee, I don't need them anymore. Me and my crown are out of here. Wow, I don't even like Susie. That getting dumped still hurts. Wait for it. <laughs> what is that grody smell? Oh, that? Best pal of mine would be your crown. I made it from snail shells and animal poop glue. The stink helps it stick. Snail? Snail? <laughs> Keep your disgusting crown. There you are, Suze. You owe me a new bouncy castle, and I want it now! No one tells me what to do. <laughs> Holy big butt squat! <laughs> wow, looks like the angry bugs are early this year. Oh, I'm gonna need a lot more duct tape. And a nice pack. And maybe some bandages. become the never-ending detour. When Squirt ate the compass. Uh, for the record, it did look like a cookie. Tasted like one, too. Cheer up, campers. We're just taking the excruciatingly long, unbelievably exhausting, totally incorrect way home. I know what'll crush this boredom. An insanely scary original story from the vault of the Terrameister McGee. Uh, please, no. I didn't pack spare undies. In fact, I didn't wear undies. And now I know something I'll never unknow. Once there was a creepy cabin. Built on an ancient burial ground. Very original, Terror Meister. Ha! A zombie's bearings are never wrong. Camp's right over. Oh, dang. Wrong again. Creepy cabin out of nowhere? Hey, it looks like we hit the haunted spook pot. How much you want to bet there's a gruesome caretaker? I don't want to find out! Uh -huh. I do! Let's see how high this place rates on the scarometer. <laughs> Hello! I'm Mr. Angler, the caretaker of this cabin. Did I call that or what? Um, hey there! We're from Camp Lake Bottom and we're kind of lost. You're welcome to spend the night. <sighs> creepy on the inside, creepy on the outside, and I'm the screamy filling in the middle? <laughs> Sheesh, talk about laying it on thick. Oh, just what the Terrormeister ordered. Uh, hey, where'd Angler go? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, a creepy painting with shifty eyes? <laughs> Classic. <laughs> let me out, let me out, let me out! I, uh, I knew I should have brought undies. Look on the bright side, Squirt. We may be dead by dawn, but we've got a scarific night ahead of us. That's the bright side? <laughs> Just remember the old haunted cabin rule. Don't split up. Sawyer? Uh, anyone notice we're down one zombie? Bonus! We get to go find him by exploring the creepy haunted cabin. Uh, or we could stay put and scream. <laughs> Abandoned cabin, peeping painting, sinister yet endearing caretaker. It's like lame horror bingo. Too bad there's nothing scary here like chipmunks. <laughs> okay, not funny, McGee. How'd you like it if this place was full of spiders? Now, spiders are gross, but scary? <laughs> Meh. Then how about insane clown? Nope. Hook handed killers? Double nope. Evil diaries that foretell doom? Nice try. Wait, evil diaries are a thing? Oh, I think I found my new worst fear. Lights out, squirt. <laughs> ah! Wait, wait up, guys! Guys! <laughs> guys! <laughs> Hello, harmless ball of light. <laughs> ah, wh 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 where am I? Our 
our little squirt followed the ghost light to the evil diary of doom. Ah, it's a thing! It's a thing! More. Ah, <laughs> your fear is delicious. <laughs> Toe jam. Yuck. Rusty tricycles. Juvenile. Belly buttons. Got them. Wombats. Need them. Stale waffles. <gasps> Do not go there! What? You're afraid of waffles? Thanks, Gretchen. Now, what does our scare test win? A one-way ticket to... <gasps> oh, a secret room. Don't you have anything original? Well, I picked up this new wallpaper just for you. <gasps> I can't get enough. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Gretch? Stumped for ID. Gretch? Squirt? Nice try. Ooh, the horror cliches keep coming. Oh, an ancient burial ground in an attic? Sweet twist. Ah, oh, for me? Oh, you shouldn't have. Just keeping it warm for you, along with this plate of waffles. W waffles? Yeah, as if. Station <laughs> angler, I'm a hundred percent scareproof. <laughs> Not for long. Now, boys, down. The cabin was built under an ancient burial ground. Um, uh, I, I know it's a no-no, but I just read somebody's diary. The campers knew they would never leave the house. Alive! Alive! And I was ambushed by Walter Wall chipmunks! Take that, but to all... Oh, give me those lightweights. Haunted horror handled. You're welcome. Good, good, goody. Now, now let's do the one thing no one ever does in a haunted house. Get out! Like it. Except we gotta find Sawyer. Cool! Another chance to explore! This place has more horror cliches than an all-night screamathon. Look, you may not be afraid of anything, but we are. <laughs> McWaffle. Well, hey, I warned you. You dropped the waffle stuff. Why? Were you scared by a waffle when you were a kid or something? Well. Just forget waffles. You've lost your marbles. <laughs> At last, I've sniffed out your fear. <laughs> so I've ordered you a happy squeal of it to go. <laughs> Bippy! It's Waffle Head Waldo, the Waffle Burger mascot! <laughs> Giant, sticky. <laughs> no way. Your biggest fear is the Waffle Burger mascot guy? <laughs> He's haunted my nightmare since I was a kid! One waffle delish kids meal, please! Coming up! Your waffles! <laughs> Yum! Yum! <laughs> <laughs> no! No! Anything but that! Yum, yum. Your fear is the most delicious of all. <laughs> yum, yum. Ah! Waffle Head Waldo! <laughs> That's right. A screamy part of any balanced meal. Personally, I find his combination of toasty waffle crunch and chewy hamburger center irresistible. Okay, back off! If anyone's gonna taunt McGee with his fears, it's gonna be us! In that case, I'll throw you to a bone. <laughs> 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 In this camper buffet angler, zombie style. <laughs> it's, it's good to see a friendly rotting face. Sorry I was gone so long. That chair's bigger than it looks. <gasps> Sawyer, protect me from Waffle and Waldo. <laughs> He's joking, right? Long story. <laughs> hey, if you want McGee, you gotta go through us. What a delicious idea. No more, Mr. Nice Waffle. It's feeding time. <laughs> yeah! Hey, for higher ground! Yeah, grab hold, campers! Yeah! This would 
be a good time for a totally implausible yet inexplicably successful plan from... Wiki! Cat! Face! The Waffle! <laughs> I've been tasting your fear all night. Now it's time to feast! Ew, this house is a giant fear-eating monster and angler is the tongue? Gross. I'm impressed, terrified, and disgusted all at the same time. I don't know how long I can hang on. I don't know how long my legs can hang on. Help! <laughs> Maggie can't help. He's a scaredy nana. Boo boo. Yum, yum, yum. You know, Angler, Waffle Ed Waldo isn't my biggest fear. It isn't? Then what is? <laughs> Letting down my pals. What are you doing? Taking a bite out of my own fear! Mm, crunchy waffle and juicy hamburger. Not bad. Not bad at all! Well, let's sweeten the deal! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I can't get enough! Stop it! I order you to be afraid! Sorry, Angler! No can do! McGee is back! Yay! Oh, well, this is what I get for playing with my food. Now get out and stay up! So rude! See? That cabin's not so scary. Come on, guys. Let's head home. Lake Bottom's just past that rock. I think. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Gah! Okay, easy now, Rosebird. Just relax. Uh oh, she's flying south. Quick, grab my big boy undies. My big boy undies just got bigger. Uh, nanny nom noms. Uh, uh, nanny, nanny nom noms. Uh, what's nanny nom noms? Some kind of weird cookie? Believe it or not, Rosebud was once a child, and nom noms was her nanny. Well, if Rosebud wants her nom noms, then nom noms is what she'll get. Sawyer, take this down. Dear nanny nom noms, Rosebud needs you. We request the honor of your presence. Uh, salutations. Miss you. Warm hugs, etc., etc. <laughs> Monster mail right on time. Hey! Well, I hope I put enough postage on that. Woohoo! Same minute service! Have no fear, my dreary dears. Nanny Num Nums is now here. Nanny Num Nums! Nanny! <laughs> Your nose is stuffed. Your face is red. Time for you to go to bed. Whoa, she doesn't mess around. I'll help, Rosebud. This is true, but there is something that you must do. Sure thing, name it. You can join my cleaning crew. Aww. Come now, children, don't be sad. This kind of cleaning will make you glad. <laughs> I am glad. Dust and dirt will get to Nanny, so clean out every nook and cranny. Bye-bye, dust. Hello, fun. A little bit more and you're almost done. Hello, camper. Meow. Looking good? Although a little dark. Is there a reverse on this thing? No, 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 not reverse. 
is done. Let's all go and have some fun. <laughs> Come on, Nanny. This is fun. Nanny's too tired to tell the truth. This kind of play is for you youth. Only tell Rosebud. It'll cheer her up. Uh, uh, Rosebud is not to be disturbed, remember? Now, Betty time! But we're not remotely to... Uh... Turn out the lights and close your eyes. You'll wake to find a big surprise. Sweet dreams. <laughs> children. Oh, so much to do. Come on now. Nanny's ahead of you. I'd say this wall needs an elevator. Oh, I'm going down. Come on, Squirt. Ow, my back. Where's your spring? Ow, my knee. I thought you liked this kind of thing. Ow, my ankle. Ow, my head. Come on now, young McGee. Let's see if you can keep up with me. McAwesome is raring to ride. Yeah. Okay, yeah, got it now. <laughs> I got it. McAwesome needs a magnetic. Oh, I'm glad we're taking a break to check in on Rosebud. <laughs> hey, what gives? Hey, <laughs> that's someone your host size. I got this, guys. Hey, ow! Hey, ow! <laughs> Squirt, we need a dirt version. <laughs> Squirt's filthy! <laughs> hey, Rosebud. How are you feeling? Ah! Oh, I mean, looking good. Looking good. Campers, <laughs> we are in terrible danger. Nanny Num Nums is not what she appears to be. She did this to me. Nanny was the first monster I ever defeated. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> a, 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 a miserable child! Whenever I am sick, I flash back to that day. Nanny must be stopped or she'll suck the life from us all. Nanny's coming! Ah! Hide! <laughs> Don't come out no matter what! Miss me? <laughs> Oh, your camp is so full of delicious life, Rosebud. And I want it all! Oh, Rosebud! What is this? Two meddling kids, I spy. <gasps> One more breath, and you both shall give me your yell! <laughs> Your youth is invigorating, and it's done wonders for my figure. I figure we gotta stop her. But how? I feel like dessert. Oh, Squirt. <laughs> Scratch, we need another dirt version. Gotcha. Ah, I'm too young to be old. On the other hand, I feel so distinguished, like a bald eagle. <laughs> Oh, oh, you, uh, uh, look at what you've done! Nanny's filthy! <laughs> Save yourselves, campers! No way! You're coming with us! Alan Kurt! Oh, oh, uh, uh. Armand! Sawyer! Nanny Num Nums is evil! Fresh! Speak up, young ones! And keep it down while you're at it! Get her to keep her out! Nap time. How can you sleep at a time like... <laughs> Locking the door won't do you any good. 
you forgot the hole inside the roof. No one keeps Nanny out, especially not decrepit old bottom hobblers. Ah, age is just a number, as in five against... <coughs> uh, three against one. So what are you gonna do? Just had to ask. Okay, admittedly unexpected, but we can deal. Bottom dwellers are tired! <laughs> In my day, mops were seen and not stirred. <laughs> you crossed the line, you're right to fear. Your lives are mine! The end is right now. <laughs> Sawyer, help us! <laughs> What's on the hub -up? Oh, right. Let me give you a hand. Children. <laughs> Sorry, Nanny, your plans are bust. Because you forgot about the dust. Oh, no, 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 no. Open wide, Nanny Nitwit. to be young and undead again. I've never felt Sasquatchier. Nanny Num Nums, you are so fired. <laughs> Most exciting afternoon ever? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> sure am. What's up? Scorpion tossing? Huh? Lava boarding? Kraken bronco busting? Uh, nope. Even better. Ta da! Welcome to Bleak Beak Island, the ultimate bird watcher's paradise. Yay! And check out my birder's field guide, written by my hero, Dr. Sapstein. Dr. Sapstein, my hero, says birds are the key to unlocking human potential. Did I tell you Dr. Safteen's my hero? Yeah, you may have mentioned it. Noon, the time birds love to poop. You gotta want to see and feel that. It's a Technicolor Diarrhea Rainbow Shower. Ew! Stink pitted nose wrinkler. I'll just check it off in my bird guide. Pocadilly Poot Swallow. Check. <laughs> A red breasted ring ding? Check. Oh, oh, dribbling droopy drawers? Check. Only one bird left. The mocker. No one spotted one in a hundred years. Come on, guys. We got a birdtastic afternoon ahead of us. Wanna see birdtastic? Uh, I'm a big blooded gas blowing tutor. <laughs> ah! <sighs> Gotta work on that landing, tutor. Check out my mocker calling magic. <laughs> that looks more like a burger picking slime beak. I'm gonna try again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you! Thank you! Hey, hold on! Oh, my God! You're not 
Not the mocker? Is that another bird call? Dr. Sapstein, I presume? Of course. So, are you the talented bird caller I just heard? That'd be this chatty fellow here. Say hi to your hero, Squirt. Sap! 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 Couldn't have said it better myself. My dear boy, your fluency in Birdonese is extraordinary. You shall have the honor of helping me with my lifelong quest. <gasps> me? Lifelong? I thought this was just for an afternoon. My top secret lifelong quest. What's got his pin feathers in a twist? Oh, uh, don't worry, Dr. S. There with me. Very well. With your bird whispering skills, together we will find the mocker. <gasps> this is like a dream come true. Not the one where I have hamsters for hands, the one where I get to work with my hero. Yeah. Well, guess it's lava boarding time. I don't know, McGee. Something about that dock ruffles my feathers. So we are going to do a little bird watching of our own. Sticky! Sticky! Ooga! Sticky! Sticky! Ooga! Sticky! Sticky! Ooga! Still no marker! Must my genius be denied again and again? I guess that's why I never got bestest helper pin in kindergarten. Bestest helper pin in kindergarten? <gasps> the mocker! Okay, satisfied, Gretch? The dog's harmless. He's a wingnut, but harmless. Wingnut! What was that? What was that? Uh, okay, something weird's going on. Something weird. <laughs> the mocker? Hmm, fungus. Twigs with a faint hint of mocker berries! The number one food of the mocker! <gasps> we are so close, I can taste it. I would taste it, but I, I promised my mom I wouldn't anymore. It's harder than plaque to get off your teeth. Aha! A quintessential mocker den. Hurry, Squirt! Use your birdie sense and lead me to it! <laughs> McGee munched a million mounds of minutely minced millipedes! A million mounds of minutely minced millipedes. This bird can do anybody. Oh, how about Sapstein? <laughs> See, I'm not the only one creeped out by Sapstein. Now follow that bird. Ooh. Yes, yes. The marker must be close now. I can feel it in my feather. Ah, <laughs> fingertips. Unusual species. Nothing like this in the guide. <laughs> hold on, hold on. One at a time, Burmese is my third language. <laughs> what? A, a mad scientist did this to you? And, and he's right behind me? <gasps> you were supposed to find the marker, not my failed experiments. Easy, easy. We're the good guys, not like old Doc Sapstein. Sapstein! Sapstein! <laughs> But, but, Dr. S, your book says birds are our friends. The key to unlocking human potential. Humans? Ah, birds are far superior. Now find me my marker. Unhand our pal, you quack. You quack. You quack. <gasps> A marker! <laughs> oh, no! Finally, the marker is mine. So this is what my grandma's budgie feels like, huh? I have no need of you, you big brain. But you're my hero! Ah! Ah! I, I looked up to you! Take heart, my boy. You still can. <laughs> Gene position synchronizer, mitosis amplifier, mood lighting. <laughs> and one pesky marker. Soon my transformation to Birdman will be complete! <laughs> ah, you did all this so you could be a Birdman? Ha! It'll never work! But my sweet child, it already has! <gasps> <laughs> the only thing that was missing was my ability to fly. But once I add the marker's DNA to my genetic code, I'll be soaring in the skies and pooping on statues! Huh? <laughs> Too bad 
you won't survive the process. You won't get away with it, Sappy. We'll see about that. Let the transfer begin. Bye bye, Birdie. <laughs> it can't be <laughs> impossible. Well, it is possible that I'm here and I didn't fall off a cliff. Birds of a feather flock together. <laughs> 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 Tell me you've got a plan! <laughs> Whoops, sorry, feeling the pressure, you know. Hey! Squirt, give me a big blooded gas blowing tutor! Gas blowing tutor! Right! <laughs> no fair! I'm supposed to fly, not you! <laughs> Like I have to clip some wings. <laughs> you little traitor! Takes one to know one. Need a hand, McGee? No, but I could use a glove. <laughs> you can't stop my unbeatable bird brain. <laughs> One wide load. Huh? <gasps> you and the mocker made a mockery of my plans. The mockery, I say. Mockery. Yeah, mockery. That's kind of what we do. I'll pluck you to pieces. <laughs> now you see us. Now you don't. But my keen bird ears can hear you. Guys, in here! You'll never find us! Find us! How wrong you are! <laughs> you can say that again, Mocker. Say that again! Caged! Caged like a common bird! I, I am just like a bird. A real birdie! At last! <laughs> Your hero turned out to be a loon squirt. Dr. Safstein may have let me down, but he can't hurt any birdie now. Good, because bird watching is way more awesome than I thought. Up, up, and away! Up, up, and away! <laughs> That suitcase. That's some seriously old luggage. Sure is. And it looks like we have a serious bug problem. Let's take a look at the mystery box. Play with me and seal the deal. I'll be your closest pal for real. Whoa! Whoa! Who'd want such a gross... I'm gonna call him Elmer. Lee, handsome, totally not creepy mini-man. Howdy, I'm Elmer. I'm Squirt. We're Elmer and Squirt. Will you be my pal? You betcha, buddy. Uh, Squirt, ventriloquism only works if you don't move your lips. It's Squirt and it's Elmer. See, I'm, I'm a total natural. You know who'd love your act, Squirt? The termites. Oh, they'd eat that dummy up. Who you calling dummy, dummy? Hey, that's not nice, McGee. 
Guess the gummy stays. And so does Squirt's new buddy. <laughs> Sorry, forgot to close the door. I keep spraying, but these lumber lovers keep nibbling. Look on the bright side. More termite tamale soup for everyone. Oh, can't get too much of a good thing. <laughs> sure can't. Watch this. Everyone loves a happy, classy, and wonderful day. Now you're getting it, Squirt. So drink up. <laughs> Excellent. Well wow, I didn't even know I was doing that. <laughs> Squirt! Your creep-tastic ummy day just inked way at Emei by itself. Hey! Don't be silly, McGee. Elmer can only do what I make him do. Yeah. You're all wet, McParanoid. I, 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 I must have made him say that, too. I am good. Uh, come on, McGee. The flagpole's dying to have a word with you. We're really starting to connect, aren't we, Squirty? We sure are, Elmer. You can't just come back here and finish the... <laughs> Never mind. Just give Elmer a chance, McGee. Yeah, I, I bet you two will be best friends by morning. Nighty night, piney pal. <sighs> it's just a dummy. Just a dummy. It's just a. Keep it together, McGee. <gasps> Okay, dummy, I've had just about enough of... <gasps> Where'd he go? <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's it. You're out of here. Buddy. This cabin is termite central. <laughs> So's the basement. Oh, I'm gonna need some tape for this new crack in my butt. <laughs> hey, Gretch, what's so funny? Squirt is. <gasps> McGee's so short that when it rains, he's the last to know. <laughs> Take it back, you little pie nut! That's not nice, Elmer. Now be a good boy and apologize to our pal. Okay. Sorry you're short, McGee. <laughs> <laughs> Squat's mouse didn't move at all while he was insulting McGee. Um, speaking of short, we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Because I always come right back. Don't I, McGee? Hey! Gretch, we gotta give that psycho puppet the boot! Get a grip, McGee. It's just a creepy doll. Who you calling doll, you third place pageant queen? I got second place once. Wait, did that block of wood just insult me? I've been trying to tell ya. And now I'm listening. Okay, show's over for that little pine squeak. Wait, that sound. Oh, Terminal! Sorry, campers. These termites have a serious appetite. Forget those other mugs, Squirty. You and me, we're the perfect double act. Uh, just one question. Are, are we still improvising? Okay, 
Time to talk Timber Squirt. Yeah, you're way too attached to Elmer. <laughs> what, what are you guys talking about? I, I, I can take him off any time. See? I, I, I can't let go. Help! We got you, buddy. Ow! Got a splinter. <gasps> Squirt! Your hand! No wonder I smell like an air freshener. <laughs> I've been sticking to you like sap ever since you sprung me from my suitcase. What? Warning, play too long and we will mesh. Then you'll be wood and I'll be flesh. That's right. <laughs> now that I've stolen Squirt's humanity, I'm real. Just like you. Sorry, Squirt. But somebody's got to be the dummy. Ooh. Puppet Master. Ah! Hands off our buddy! If you want Squirt, you have to go through us first. Sounds good to me. Check out my dummy's new axe. <laughs> Oops, I mean axe. No need for name calling. He didn't mean you, dummy. He meant that dummy. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> 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 knock, knock! <laughs> oh, look who's catching our act, zombie buddy. Elmer and Squirt. Oh, he gave both his pretty gift to me. <laughs> oh, snap! Hey. I make the jokes around here. Oh, the, the joke's on you. Everyone ought to have eight glasses of water a day. So drink up. Oh, I'll say it. Don't spray it, Sawyer. <laughs> Did that get? I'm cutting this act short. Huh? Termite, don't let him eat me. I'm a delicious blend of ash and maple. Wait. I'm human now. They can't do nothing to me, but I bet Squirt will make a heck of a birch buffet. Touch one sliver on his head and we'll cut you down to size. You can save him or stop me, bottom chump. It's your choice. We choose both. Oh, you're Sawyer. Gotcha. Uh-oh. Never bring a bad leg to a termite fight. Take it away, Gretchen. <laughs> Surrounded, Elmer. It's me or Termite City. I told you, Sawdust Brain. I'm human now. Those buglies can't hurt me. Thought you'd say that, but it's not you the termites are after. <laughs> uh oh. Wait. I'm to pack it in. <laughs> hey, I'm human again. Oh, 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 trust me, I, I can tell because I got splinters in my undies. <laughs> huh? So long, Elmer. Your dummy act is officially retired. Uh. Oh, I'll be back for an encore. And we'll be the closest pals. For real. <laughs> <laughs> Dot. Wearing pants on your head? You laugh, but I'm a trendsetter. Next year, everyone will have pants on their head and a herring in their pocket. No, it's just that it's already lunch and nothing weird-tastic has happened yet. <gasps> Triple Squatch, come in. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Frog in my throat. Triple Squatch. Oh, oh. Ah. Triple Squatch, come in. 
shouldn't have had that chili. Ah! Weird-tastic, here we come. <sighs> Spill, Armand. Who's the hairy lady? And why did she call your belly button? Hi, that's her. Enough interrogation. I'll talk. She's my arch nemesis, the evil spy, Abominable of her. I was master spy, Tripolo Squatch, but I hung up my tux for good. You all came along on my last mission. We don't remember that. Because I wiped your memories with this multi-tool spy pen. Cool! Wait, have you done that before? Yo, Squatchy's here, and I'm here to say... <laughs> got... <gasps> Happy birthday, Squirt! Never. And now my apologies, but you know too much. Again. <laughs> Drop in any time, Camber. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind if I do, Tribulos. Go watch. <laughs> Abomina! Armand, what are you doing? I just told you, she's an evil spy. Oh, right. Gotta cut down on those memory wipes. I was an evil spy, but now I'm defecting so I can fight alongside the forces of... Handsome. I'm not falling for that again. I speak the truth. My top secret brownie recipe is coveted by both sides of the fuzzy curtain and a big hit at bake sales. Oh, you better put that bake sale on hold because we've got company. <gasps> they found me. Release her, you furry dish rag. <laughs> Oh, well, this day is shaping up. Our mom turns out to be a top spy. Yeah. Uh, with an arch enemy who's actually an old flame. Uh, someone's gonna get burned. Yeah. Hi. You want a tangle, huh? You got it. Yeah. Oh, look at those two. You're in perfect sync. Abomina, I could never trust you again after Bulbaria. Safe, thanks to you, tall, dark, and fuzzy. This spy stuff is so cool! Can't she stay, Armand? Plus brownies, huh? No. Excellent! I shall set up a surveillance post to watch for enemy activity in Armand's cabin. <gasps> hey, Armand, can I see your spy pen? Sure, kid. Careful, though. It's a smoke bomb, grappling hook, ocular enhancer, toothbrush... <laughs> ...and novelty buzzer. Where are you hiding? I need to find you. Oh, I don't... Hi, Abomina. Oh, oh! <laughs> I was just, um, sweeping for bugs. <laughs> yeah, don't you need a broom for that? Oh, you campers don't miss a thing. That's why I'm making you my intelligence service. Bulletproof sunglasses, awesome! No thanks, I brought my own. <laughs> this reminds me of Bulberia, the two of us snuggling by the fire, surrounded by a sea of robot samurais. Your robot samurais bent on my destruction? Speaking of destruction, jet powered now! Three o'clock! <laughs> Campers. Ah! Uh, Abomina, you saved me. Of course, we're on the same team. Ah, uh, same team? Then where are their matching hats? They should match. I was wrong about you, Abomina. Perhaps we can start over. I thought you loved roses. Oh. Ah! Oh. 
<laughs> Poor gullible triple O Squatch. Always the romantic. I should have known you'd never give up, villainy. We'll always have Bulberia. Watch him, Mr. Knuckles. Now, to find what I came for. Oh! Our man has caught a chill, so I'm off to make him some get well brownies. Can we have some, too? Uh, yes. Uh, but I'm missing something crucial. Ingredient X. It makes them explode with flavor. Follow us. We know where Rosebud hides her secret ingredients. Yoo-hoo! God! My not-so-news! Could you kindly tighten them? Clear! Bring in the baked goods. Closing on target, stand by, over. Ingredient X, at last! The most powerful exploding chocolate in the world! <laughs> oh, tastes like chocolatey betrayal! I knew it! But you and Armand were in love! All's fair in love and espionage. Now, if you'll excuse me... It's time to blow your camp to smithereens! How dare you use blips for evil? They're just big, happy balloons! <laughs> oh, this is all my fault for trying to spice up Armand's love life. No, it's my fault for wanting to do cool spy stuff. No, it's my fault for... A actually, it was you two. Good thing I have a contingency plan. <gasps> Camp Lake Bottom will be a cocoa-flavored crater! <laughs> mm, sorry, Triple O Squatch, but once again, our love must take a back seat to world domination. <laughs> Something's biting my butt! <laughs> Aha! Gotcha! <laughs> more again! More again! So long, party crashers! Which reminds me. <laughs> and Mother said stuffing my shirts with herring was pointless and unsanitary. <laughs> oh, sorry, Gretch. <laughs> Memory wipe saves the day. Not for long. Agree to disagree. It's over, Abomina. Let's agree to disagree. Blimpido away! Uh-oh. McGee, I'm disappointed in you, Abomina. You could have had something. Please be a dead. Please be a dead. Please be a dead. Need a lift, Camper? Yeah. What about the Blimpido? Let's postmark it. Return to sender! Well played, Triple O Squatch, until we meet again! We'll always have Bulgaria! Sorry, Armand. You were right about Abomina all along. Ah, forget it. Now, if you'll hand me my spy pen, I can help with that. Okay. Uh-oh. Well, now you'll always have Bulbaria. <laughs> Why am I wearing this unseasonable tuxedo?
unleash the whirlwind, you need the control of the hummingbird. Um, but first... What's with the necklace? It's the first kung fu medal I ever won. If I don't kiss it before my battles, I'll lose my chi. Wait, the butt-kicking karate queen needs chi rituals? Yeah. Observe, grasshoppers. Let me see. Cool! Not funny, McGee. I just want to look at it for a second. Whoops. Ah, my good luck medal! I'm useless without it. You don't need a medal to be awesome. You're Gretchen the Kung Fu Queen. Now show us what you got. Maybe you're right. One tough apple. That apple should have been applesauce. I was hoping for an apple fritter, actually. McGee, you totally de chiified me. Get serious. You haven't lost your chi. You have no idea. Whoa! Maybe it's taking a nap. You were saying? Come on, Gretch. Everyone's a klutz once in a while. I'm not. Or at least I wasn't. I used to have fists of foo. Ah! Now I'm just one big cheeless klutz. What? Gretchen lost her chi? How? Uh, I might have maybe kind of messed with her ritual. Just no big deal. Great Squatchy's ghost, McGee. This is a big, big deal. It's time you campers heard the legend of the Dark Monkey. Papa Joe. Oh. Long ago, a wandering master journeyed to Lake Bottom in search of lost chi. Yay! The master arrived at the ancient monkey temple and challenged the dastardly dark monkey. Suck it to him, Stripey! You will never defeat me, foolish sock warrior. Ah! Your monkey foo is strong! Too strong! <gasps> But the master rediscovered the chi in the most unexpected way. Yay! And defeated the evil warrior. Take that and that you Wow, shall... so chi's really a thing. And are those my socks? But who was the master? You gotta tell me. We've been sworn to secrecy. She'd kick our high knees if we told. Who's hungry for scrambled cockroaches? <laughs> <laughs> Master Rosebud! If anyone can help me get Gretchen's chi back, it's you! <laughs> the sock squealed, not us! I never trusted that <laughs> striped one! Mark my words. The monkey temple is more terrifying than a barrel of mutant scorpion puppies. And I have fart cabbage to fricassee. Only a real master could fricassee a fart cabbage. And I'm a real klutzoid. Buck up, Gretch! I'll get Rosebud to help if it's the last thing I do! Oh. Hopefully before you destroy the camp. What part of no do you not understand? Please, Rosebud. I totally messed up Gretchen's chi and I gotta help get it back. I mean, look at her. She's a total cheese aster. <sighs> okay, but it will be hard work. There is no cheating the chi. Yes! To find the inner chi, you must do exactly as I say. The crane may float, but the wings stay dry. Hey ah. There. Now you try. Yay! Come on, Shaolin Gretz. You can totally do this. Hi! Yes! I'm doing it! Whoa! Make the breeze your friend and the plates your kite. Your turn. <laughs> chi is like the perfect French fry, hiding deep within the potato. Peel away doubt, and it shall be revealed. Aya! Whoa! Come on, Gretch, you can do this. <sighs> What's the use? My cheese gone kung fu-y. Ow, ow! It's the potato apocalypse! When doing spin kicks, we must always make sure your shoes are tied. Don't worry, Gretch. We'll get your chi back the same way Rosebud did. Uh, Master Rosebud, 
will we be jogging past the monkey temple? No way! That place is bad news. But shouldn't we go see it so we know where we should never go? Hmm, you got a point. This way. <laughs> There is the temple. Never, ever go here. Now, on with the training. Psst, now's our chance. But Rosebud said that place is bad news. She also says her slug soup is a little sip of heaven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, follow me. You really think this place will help me? <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Guys, check this out. This must be the dark monkey. How is a picture of a monkey going to help me get my chi back? Free! <laughs> ah, cute monkey. Want a banana? You're the one that fought Rosebud and got her chi back. Can you fight our friend too? What? Rosebud? Is your counselor? It was she who imprisoned me. And now I will have vengeance. <laughs> Monkey go! No! Oh, ow! Um, now would be a good time to pull your cheat together. I believe in you. <laughs> Foolish campers, quiver before the primate powers of the dark. to taste monkey defeat! Ah! Ah, my simian skills are wasted on children. It is Rosebud I'm after. <laughs> Rosebud! <laughs> Rosebud's gonna get monkey stomped. No, she's not, because we're gonna put that lame ape back in his scroll. Shields open! <laughs> Up a furball of love for you. What? Where is the one called <laughs> Rosebud? Hello, this is my me time. And remember, campers, stopping to smell the flowers can be dangerous. <laughs> Where is the one called Rosebud? <laughs> how, how about we discuss this over a yummy banana spread? <laughs> Where is Rosebud? <laughs> nice! Guess we threw a monkey wrench into his plans. <laughs> you don't stand a chance against my chimp foo. Nuh uh! Your chimp foo is weak compared to our infinite leg bottom G! Huh? <laughs> Prepare to face my fist like feet of. Fury! <laughs> Let's show a face what Rosebud students can do! Yikes! <laughs> oh, I'm coming, McGee! Mickey can strike! Time to step up to the plate! <laughs> yeah! Grunt! It's now or never! But I've got no chi! Do something! Oh! We're doomed! Hurry! Whoa. You do have chi! Just find your perfect dinner fry! Is like the perfect French fry. Ah, uh, here goes nothing. Hi! Oh yeah! Do that kung fu that only you can do. Enough games! I really must destroy you now. Hi! <laughs> yeah. Catch 
up with that? And the last rule of training is always make sure you went to the washroom before battle. Master Rosebud. <gasps> the perfect fly! My teachings have worked! You found your chi. And you did it without your medal. Dips on the monkey nose chi fry! Yeah. Yeah. What? Five second rule. Got up early? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, want to join me on my second jog of the day? That's too weird, even for Lake Bottom. Yeah. Gotta train! <laughs> Hold me, I'm frightened. Whatever's controlling you, McGee, you gotta fight it. I'm just training for tomorrow's intercamp slopsicle course. To the victor goes the bragging rights! So you're not possessed? Only by the need to rub Butt Squad's goofy face in Lake Bottom's victory! Check out my exercise routine. Yeah. John. What do you think? The jazz hands were Armand's idea. Totally lame! It can't compete with my custom Squad Max Turbo Jam! I don't even have to lift a finger! Because it does it for me. <laughs> I'm gonna be so ripped, you'll be eating my dust, McWimp. Hey! You mess with McGee, you mess with his team. Oh, I'm so scared. Beat you tomorrow, McGee. Let's call him Butt Squash from now on. What do you think, McGee? I think Butt Squad had a point. We're gonna need more than toe touches and jazz hands to beat Sunny Smiles. Oh, if only we had a training shortcut. Tell me, I did not just hear you say training shortcut. Of all shortcuts, that is the third most dangerous. Rosebud's right, Tempers. Let me tell you a story. One summer at Lake Bottom, we won every single intercamp competition. Ooh. Because you exercised and ate right? No, because we summoned a trainer titan that helped us win every event. And at first it was great, but we got greedy. And the more we wanted victory, the stronger the titan got, until it went berserk. I can't believe we survived. So what happened to the titan? We trapped him in limbo and stuck him in the shed. See ya! You know we can beat Sunny Smiles without freeing some psycho trainer, right? <laughs> Yeah, of course. Okay, you guys start training for the race, and I'll be right back. We're totally gonna win the race as soon as I free that awesome trainer from limbo. Oh. Hey! Hello! Are you a weakling? Do you seek training for competition domination? Then flex and call for Jacques the Jack. Jacques the Jack! Whoa! So you'll help us win the slobstacle course? But of course! With me, you will destroy the competition! Woohoo! You gotta meet the team! I do not do teams! There is no we in win! But I freed you! You have to do what I say! I am no genie! You train alone, or I find someone else to make a wiener! I wanna be a wiener! But of course! Lunge with me! Here. Yeah, it's not like McGee to miss a good squid squeezing. You don't think he went looking for the Titan, do you? Of course not. He'd have to be bananas to... Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, I'm impressed. And ready to train on my own. When do we start? Right now, I have the perfect program. First, you will push a boulder uphill. Then you will slay a hydra with your bare hands. 
Then I'll be in winning shape? Man, no! That will take three years! What? But the race is tomorrow! Ooh, are you saying you want the shortcut? <laughs> I'll be in! I give you power to destroy the competition! Like so! <laughs> John, bring it down. Like so! Ah! Oh, that's a bit much. Back to TV limbo with you. Not here! If you won't destroy the competition, I find someone who will. Tell me that wasn't a rampaging titan. Whatever it was, it had incredible calves. This isn't what it looks like. Okay, it's totally what it looks like. What were you thinking, McGee? I wanted to lead Lake Bottom to victory. Just not in Jacques' destroy the competition way. Wait, he wants to destroy the competition? Great! Now we're the competition! <sighs> you did what? This is bad news, campers. There's no way we can let Jacques bring back aerobic chic. I can't help feeling like this is partially, mostly, all. All my fault! I was just so focused on winning. You know, winning could be the key to this. Jacques can't destroy winners. Duh, that would be unsportsmanlike. We must train Lake Bottom style. You flex for me! Uh, 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 I have trained many humans, but you, you're the worst! All you've done today is make me sweaty and sore from exercising! What kind of trainer does that? Are you saying you want the shortcut to destroy the competition? You have a shortcut? Why didn't you say so? Gimme, gimme, gimme! Avian! Feel the burn! Yeah. Looking good, campers! Yeah! I made a special brekkie of Canadian bat bacon to put hair on your chest. <laughs> ah! I'm manly now! I filled my air can in hand with screamers for the race! Don't you mean streamers? Nope. <laughs> And I've been writing a special bottom dweller cheer. Bravo, Lake Bottom! We're gonna find a rhyme for Lake Bottom. It's a work in progress. You know, I think we can win this. Hello, bottom peoples! Are you ready to meet your destroyers? This should be a piece of cake. Bring them on! Rag out! Buff squat! <laughs> <laughs> Is that... Butt Squat? He's more manly than me! All right, kids, the rules are simple. First person across the finish line wins the race for their team. Ready, set... Go! Destroy the competition! in trouble. Where? Ah! Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> I'm in the lead. I can win this. Squirrel! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> Prepare to lose, Mick Loser! <laughs> <sighs> Buff squirrel!
what stuck. Yes! Come on, Pepper! You're almost there! Bob Squat! If you cannot destroy the competition, I must destroy you! Help me! Oh, stupid conscience. Like that program? Buff Squad Smash McFlee! How is this not over yet? <laughs> Buff Squad Destroy Competition! I'm gonna crush you! Uh oh! Looks like you did it, McGee! Nah, I think this is more of a group win. Victory is out! Rah, rah, late bottom. You totally kick bottom. Yeah! Oh, poetic genius, buddy. Can somebody get this boat off of me? It's really heavy. Hello? Lights out, campers. Get your butts in your bunks. Ah, another awesome day at the creepiest camp around. More terror tomorrow. Mm. Sleep tight, campers. Don't let the dream weevil burrow into your brain. Right, a dream weevil. Good one, Sawyer. Yeah, you're hilarious. Dream who's it? Burrow into my what? The dream weevil? Oh, it's a bug that gets into your head and turns your dreams into nightmares. Cool. Uh, does it dig into your skull or crawl in through your ear? Squirt! Can it eat your face from the inside out? Or, or, or when you shake your head, can you hear it rattling around? Hmm, I'm not sure. Probably. Whoa. I'm not listening! No, no, no! Aw, McGee's afraid of a scary dream bug. Mm. I ain't afraid of nothing. Ah! What is that thing? It's just a fright light. It scares away bad dreams. Ah! Here, fight terror with horror. Uh, thanks? But couldn't we fight Tara with something that looks a little happier? See you tomorrow if you, you know, you survive the night and all. Dream Weevil. Totally ridiculous. Right, guys? Guys? I will not dream about the Dream Weevil. 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 I slept great. You see, Gretch? I didn't even need the fright light. Gretch? Squirt? Huh. I guess I slept in. Gretch, squirt! What do you guys want to do? Well, soccer it is then. Hup, hup, hoo! Twinkle Toes McGee works his magic. Goal! Wow. That good night's sleep really helped my game. Yo, guys, where are you? Here's Little Miss Ninja winner is... That would be... Scratch! Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> what? <laughs> Way to go, Gretch! Hey there, Mix Scaredy Pants. Awesome dream. Scaredy Pants? I'm not afraid. Wait, I'm dreaming? <laughs> yeah. Cool. But I knew you guys were making that up. There is no dream weave. Mickey, Ixnate on the A Nate, or you'll ruin your whole dream. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, a uh, little busy. Uh, why don't you check what Squirt's up to? Ha! Ice cream! <laughs> hey, Sawyer! You're in my dream too? You bet. I noticed there's no sign of the you know what. <laughs> Give me a break. You just made that up. Right? Here you go. Ew! Any flavors other than brainy? Hmm, got brainy with nuts, brainy with chocolate sprinkles, and my favorite, tutti-frutti brainy. Maybe later. 
Suit yourself. All the more for me. You enjoy that. Have you seen Squirt? Squirt's got his head in the clouds. As usual. In that case, one Rainbow Express going up! One of the dreamiest dreams you've ever dreamed up, McGee. Yeah! And if you want it to stay that way, don't say the name of the... <laughs> All right, are you guys trying to freak me out about this dream we... <laughs> McGee! Thank you for my uni bubble corn. Blow hello, Bessie. <laughs> I can't believe you guys were so worried about that silly old dream wheel. Shh! If that thing hears its name, it'll ruin your dream. Okay, okay, I get it. I won't talk about that goofy... Made up... Dream Weevil! <laughs> Which part of Don't Say the Name did you not understand? Isn't so bad. <laughs> you call McGee? You're the dream weevil? <laughs> You're not so scary. Oh, really? Because you sure look scared. <laughs> I tried to warn you, but... You just wouldn't listen. Tisk, tisk. <laughs> oh, I smell fear. <laughs> fear, my favorite snack. <laughs> What we need is a jetpack! Guess this thing's good for something after all. Eat rocket dust, Dream Weevil! Who miss me? Hello again. McGee, freaking out makes the dream evil stronger. You got that right, Missy. <laughs> nice flying, Gretch. I think we lost him. Oh, <laughs> I smell fear. The only thing I'm afraid of is your bad breath. Ugh, total gag. Oh, you're not afraid? Oh, oh, ah, oh. Who needs you anyway? It's McGee's dream I'm haunting, right, McGee? No! I'm not afraid of you! Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> That's why I'm gonna stay and turn your dreams <laughs> into nightmares forever! <laughs> Where's a unit bubble corn when you need one? I'm not going to say I told you so. So I will. I told you so. Hey! I didn't mean to invite the dream weevil into my dream. I just wanted to prove I'm not afraid. Not afraid? Then how can I do this? Oh, that does it! Bright light, do your stuff! I wish we had... Tanks! Huh? Fire! you could get rid of me with that silly light. <laughs> now that's what I call fear power. McGee, you've got to get control of your dream. Wait a sec. It is my dream. 
It's my dream you're haunting! Leave my friends alone! Oh, no. Thanks to you, I'm in their dreams, too. And now we're one big screaming family! <laughs> what? Whoa! Impossible! Ah! I don't need a fright light to change my dreams! Ah! Ah! Whoa! I did that? Your dreams, your power. Well, in that case, Dreamy, meet your worst nightmare. Yay! Huh? Ah. It's modern scooter chic. Anyway, look what got delivered to Sunny Smiles instead of Loser Bottom. My package! Finders keepers, losers McWeepers. <laughs> Let's see what your mom sent me. Oh, McBaby's catch. Gross. <laughs> mm, McMommy burrito pops. <laughs> Keeping these. Oh, burrito pops. Beanie good. What do we have here? <gasps> the final issue of the Mega Man Boy Infinite Universe Crisis Countdown? In mint condition! Easy, Butt Squad. We can share the burrito pops. You just hand over the comic nice and slow. What's the magic word? Psych! <laughs> Let's see what Mega Man Nerd is up to. Mega Man Boy discovers boring. Will Mega Man Boy escape? Lame! Mega Man Boy buys new tights. <laughs> Yawn. Oh, the big finale. No! Don't tell me the ending! La, 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 la. Mega Man Boy learns that Mega Powers come with great responsibility. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Mega Man Boy is safe! Look, a falling star! Make a wish! I wish for a falling star so I can wish for more burrito pops! That's no star. That's a meteor. What are the chances? Astronomical. It looks like a bowling ball from space. Do not touch that orb, Camper. We don't know what disgusting space germs that rock picked up. 
we'll get some antibacterial wipes. Remember, don't touch that orb. No problem, Sawyer. No one's gonna touch it. McGee, what are you doing? That meteorite could be all radioactive and stuff. <laughs> It could have space boogers all over it. Relax. It's just a mysterious substance that's hurtled through space. What could go wrong? Oh, I guess this. Uh, well, suddenly feeling a little lightheaded. Space boogers! Hi! Oh. Oh. McGee? You okay? <laughs> hey, don't freak out, guys. All's cool. Seriously, what's up? You're up, McGee. You can fly! That's amazing! Whoa! I'm... Flying! Yeah. Mm, something smells good. And you eat garbage? <laughs> so not amazing. You're right. It's not amazing. It's super awesome, amazing. That makes no sense. That orb gave me mega flyboy powers. Oh, oh, me next. I want to be a flyboy too. <laughs> Whoa! Am I flying? Here, Squirt, have a snack. <laughs> Same old wimpy human taste buds. Try flying. Already on it. <laughs> Whoa! Bounce, fantastic! Your turn, Gretch. No flying? Uh, uh, uh. No bouncing? No fair! Hey, try some garbage. Ew, stop bugging me! Stretch! Mega stretch powers! Mega, Mega awesome! Why, thank you very much. <laughs> Save the world? Mm -hmm. Later. Right now, I'm thinking mega snack. <laughs> hungry, ow. Hungry, ow. Hungry, ow. Hungry, ow. <laughs> yummy, yummy in my fly tummy tummy. <laughs> my slug muffin slithered away again. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know why I bother. Oh, these are disgusting. <laughs> Disgustingly delicious. Hey, McGoob, your mom's burrito pops are the best. Next time, get her to add more cheese. <laughs> Last chance, butt bean. Give back those burrito pops. Bring it on. <laughs> so good. I was hoping you'd burp that. What? <laughs> Get away, Buzz Boy! Getting away will be a bit of a stretch! Uh, Let me bounce something off ya! <laughs> Gotta work on my bouncy jokes. <laughs> ah! Oh! Hey! How'd you mega losers get mega powers? Wouldn't you like to know? That's a mega secret. Now hand over those burrito pops. <laughs> what? Ah! Oh. Looks like someone lost their lame -o powers. Bye bye burritos. Bye bye superpowers. Relax, guys. All we need is a recharge. <laughs> recharge, huh? Soon I'll have your pops and your powers, McFly Face. Come on, McGee. Just a little more. What's what's back? Get him! Huh? Gotcha, Bean Splat! A, a decoy! The orb! Drop the orb, butt breath! Too late, McGullible! Behold the power of nitrogen, methane, and beans! Oh! 
<gasps> Burrito Pops combined with Mega Orb Gas Power equals the ultimate gaseous supervillain, Dr. Thunderbutt! <laughs> Something? <laughs> oh. Open your nostrils to the stink of ultimate power! <laughs> oh, yeah. ah. oh, yo! Super villain needs help here! I knew that Butt Squad Kid was a stinker, but oh boy! What kind of maniac ignores caution tape? Ah, uh, Butt Squad kind of maybe saw us use the orb to get superpowers? <laughs> Yeah, sorry, but check out our awesome mega powers. You don't stand a chance against Thunderbutt with those piddly powers. Not one on one, but together we can as an ultra super mega team. Mega inspiration. Presenting the bounceable blurt, the ultra elastic stretch, and the high flying McFly boy. Together we are. The Super Fantastic Mega Buds! Mega Justice Super Punch! Uh, is anyone else's costume a little tight in the crotch? Try and beat me now! Did I hold all the orbs' powers? What would Man Boy do now? This is your last chance, Thunder Dork! Return that orb! No way, McBuzz Boy! <laughs> Mega Justice Super Punch! <laughs> 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 uh. Belching is rude, Burp Breath. Did your mother teach you to cover your mouth? Let's get this back where it belongs! <laughs> like I'd forget to install an orb protecting McBug Zapper. I'm a gassy genius. <laughs> Would do. Hey, x ray glasses! <laughs> You're right! Thunderbird! Curse you, McFly Boy! Oh no. <laughs> now let her rip, Thunderbird! Yay! We just saved the world, Mega Campers! <laughs> Yes! <gasps> Wishes do come true! Here, Butt Squad, have a Mega Justice Super Punch of deliciousness! With extra cheese! My powers! My beautiful, stinky, gaseous powers! Oh, I gotta use your own house! <laughs> Cake. I didn't know it was your birthday. No, it's not. Um. Dear McGee, this cake is... Oh, delicious and finished. For your sister Susie's birthday. So don't eat it! I yelled that part because they wrote it all caps. Uh-oh, please tell me there's something else in the box. Crumbs. Ah! <gasps> <gasps> uh, nice hat. Trash is so you. Hey, Susie, what brings you to Camp Lake Bottom? Shouldn't you be at your beautiful camp, not here? Well, thanks for stopping by. See you later. Look, baby brother, the only reason I paddled across that disgusting lake to this dump is to get my birthday present! I know you have it, so give it to me! Uh, your present! Uh, no problem. Only, um, it's not ready yet, silly. It's so special and so cool that it'll be ready later. Yeah, definitely ready later. Well, it better be. Uh-huh. 
And don't let it touch anything around here. Your camp is grosser than Gresham's fashion sets. Oh, McGee! Okay, okay, but what am I gonna do? If she finds out I ate her cake, she'll... Well, let's just say it won't be pretty. Wait! Got it! If I give her a super amazing present, then she'll totally forget about not having a birthday cake. Do girls like these? Wait! What about a book? Yeah! Girls like reading, right? Oh, yeah. Susie would love a book. What about this one? How my brother ruined my birthday. <sighs> or this one. My brother is a thoughtless, insensitive dork. Wait! Here's the perfect one. How to destroy your brother's life in 12 easy steps. Why are girls so hard to shop for? What am I gonna do? You could get her a hat. I'm doomed. Well, you can't go wrong with flowers. Flowers! That's perfect! Why didn't I think of that? Because you're a thoughtless and sensitive boy. Can't chat now, Gretch. Gotta go. Uh. Squirt, I need flowers to make up for a giant delicious birthday cake. Well, Eddie here is going to be a beautiful flower. Did I ever tell you how much I like cake? Wait, what was that? Rosebud's Extra Super Insanely Powerful Mega Growth Plant Fertilizer. It makes plants grow ten times faster. Isn't that right, little friend? Okay, that's cool and all, but when is it going to be a flower? Oh, in about a week. A week? But I need one today! What if we put more fertilizer on it? Oh, that would be dangerous. It might explode or something. I bet it was chocolate cake, wasn't it? Mmm, chocolate. I'm getting a snack. Well, I could get destroyed by Susie. Or... Yes! Okay. On to plan C. Hide from my sister. You know, how my brother ruined my birthday isn't half bad. I may as well just pack my bags because Susie is going to kick my butt all the way home. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I had the chili. I don't think that was your lunch! You mean you had the chili too? Gretchen! <laughs> Squirt! Watch out for that first step! Whoa! Okay, this is new. Hey, this looks like Eddie. Only way bigger. Okay, McGee, what's up besides us? What makes you think that I... I... I mean, it could have been any. <laughs> Why is it always me? I, a little help here. <laughs> Whoa! So, McGee, how much fertilizer did you use? Well, let's see, a cup of, you know, with a dash, you know, with two pinches, and then carry the four, uh, all of it. McGee, am I still asleep and dreaming, or is this more McGee mischief? It's my sister's birthday. Well, wish her a happy birthday from me, and also, why is my cabin a hundred feet in the air? Uh, still trying to work out the exact details. <laughs> okay, okay, I used a whole bag of your super fertilizer on one plant. Since a plant will keep growing until it cannot hold its own weight, down it will go along with us. Great. We're going to be crushed by Susie's birthday present. The only way to stop the growth is to cut the flower from the top. I will make a lovely salad with it. Ah! 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 I'm on to the rescue! Whoa! 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 Hang on there, Rosebud! Oh, don't go anywhere! Oh, no overgrown snapdragon can hold this Sasquatch! Perhaps I spoke too soon. Ah! Come on! We have to rescue Rosebud and Armand! Whee! Whee! Oh, ah! uh, whose idea was this again? Don't eat us! We're not a basic food group! Oh, forget about the rescue campers! It is too dangerous! You've got to go up to the top! Stop this plant! <laughs> Zombies are nice in town. Ooh, watermelons are on sale. Okay, what's the plan, fertilizer boy? What makes you think I have a plan? Because you always have a plan? Does the plan include a snack break? Well, um, no. Okay, here's the plan. We climb to the top. That's it? That's it. 
What could go wrong? Actually, lots of things could go wrong. First... Don't tell me, Squirt. It'll spoil the surprise. He was a little pokey and ouchie. Woo! Ow! Not cool. Phew. Break time. <laughs> Might not be the best time for a break, McGee. Run! <laughs> Quick, grab onto me. Wait. Safety first. Uh, yeah! You gotta admit, it's pretty cool that I turned a plant into a plantasaurus. Wonder what I should name it. Your butt. I should name a plant after my butt? No! Look out for your butt! <laughs> Let's climb! <laughs> It worked! I did it! I'm safe from Susie! Okay, let's get those garden tools and go rescue our counselors. There's no way a sister can't forgive a brother for eating her birthday cake if she gets a flower like this! McGee, wait! What happens if you... Oh! Oh! Ask me! Ask me! Yes, Squirt? If the flower is cut, the plant doesn't need its roots anymore. Oh, and the roots are what's holding us up. Uh... See? I was right! <laughs> One, two, three. Ah! Why did we run into our cabin? Ah! I hope that's not Susie. Is there room for one more? Take my arm. No! Ah! Human, then Sasquatch chain. It. No more gardening for you. Okay. Hey. All right, Mickey. I'm sick of coming over to this dump. I know Mom and Dad sent my present to you. Now give it! Happy birthday, sis. Ugh. Well, it's way better than getting a, I don't know, birthday cake. <laughs> Everyone gets those. This is special. I guess it is kind of pretty. Uh... Oh, 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 I get it! You ate Susie's birthday cake and that's why you needed the flour. Say what?! It was a horrible cake anyway, Susie. It tasted way too... chocolatey. Uh. Uh. Get it off! Get it off! Ah. When I get this plant off my nose, you're gonna get it good, McGee! Happy birthday! Yeah, I'm gonna get some watermelons. Everybody loves a good watermelon. Uh, you might want to give it a minute. <laughs> I should start growing watermelons. Nothing's as relaxing as watching deadly explosions of fire. Ah. Oh, 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 this is it! Here comes the boom boom! Hold on to all your parts! Already on it! Yeah! Let's get this party erupted! Ha <laughs> ah! ha! Hi! 
life. Oh, man. Total love a letdown. Never underestimate Mount Fit to... <gasps> Intense? Huh? Wow! Uh, uh, Gretcherson! You had me at binoculars. Oh, th that line! I, I know that line! Yes! I mean, it's just our favorite movie of all time! <laughs> when when crime, crime is too, too far away to see, it's, it's time, time to, to get, get some binoculars! binoculars. Uh, Will you look at that, sweetheart? It seems as if we've got some fans. Only your biggest fans? You're our favorite action movie star couple! Huh. I'm the Gritchison's biggest fan. I even have a tattoo. It's on my body. Stay out of their sight, Armand. We don't want to scare the humans. Oh, please. What's so frightening about us? Right. Not that we're complaining, but why are you guys visiting Camp Lake Bottom anyway? To see our precious daughter, of course, Gretchy Kim. Gretchy Kim? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. And then there's this. I sleep there. Those are Squirt McGee's bunks. That's a shrunken head. Spider eggs, the usual. Interesting. It smells like the set of Invasion of the Mold Men from Mars. What? Welcome to Lake Bottom Macaroni Lays, our tradition. Yeah? Since when? Well, let's see. Since super awesome movie stars started coming to our camp, so today? Oh. Mickey, could you give it a rest? Oh, don't worry. We're used to it, dear. Make sure you get my good side. Where is that music coming from? We had sound systems added to our formal way. It just made sense. Okay, Gretch, what is the deal here? You are embarrassing us in front of your parents. Oh, and speaking of that, why didn't you tell us? Oh, come on, Gretch. Me and Squirt live for your parents' movies. Like Double Black Belt Shark Tap Out 4? Or Double Black Belt Shark Tap Out 5, the re-sharkening? Come on. Both classics in the giant shark versus human genre. Sorry, personally, I can't stand all that Hollywood nonsense. Whoa, nonsense? What are you saying? <laughs> and that's what you get for invading the White House. Ah, oh, now that brings back memories. Did you know that shark had a black belt and Taekwondo dorsal fin? Dad, Double Black Belt Shark Tap Out 5 was just a movie. Can't we all talk about real people stuff? For once. Real people stuff? Gretch, we talked about this. Stop giving your father frown lines. If I didn't know you better, I think you didn't want a visit from your action stars. Uh, you mean parents? No, that's exactly what I said. Oh, happens every time. Yeah. <sighs> Did someone call for parent participation? Stand up straight, dear. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Out pageanted by my own folks. Aw, oh, there, there, Gretch. I'm here for you. <laughs> <laughs> wow! That was just like spin kick and spin kick party six, Mrs. G. My turn! <laughs> Best spin kick inflicted in turtle rupture ever. That's it. I am so out of here. <gasps> oh, what's with Gretchikins now? <coughs> hey, this is just like the set of Killer Cough Cloud Five. Gretchy <coughs> <coughs> Wetchy, is that you? <coughs> Can I get an autograph? A lock of hair, an extra kidney, perhaps anything? I'm your biggest fan! Ah! Okay, this is gonna be just like the final scene in Spin Kick Party 6. And oh, and don't be afraid to go for the Gritcherson eyeball crush. You got it! And watch out for the Gritcherson larynx twist, too! Ah! 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 Have you seen Armand? You know 
how fan crazy Armand is. I hope he isn't chasing after the Gretchen's parents. Oh, don't worry. The Gretchen's can totally handle one crazy fanboy. <laughs> Gretz's folks are running scared. Straight for Mount Fit to Blow. And it's Fit to Blow. Oh, now I get it. Oh, the Gritchersons? Scared? That's impossible. Did they played every kind of hero that's ever existed. That's it. Squirt, they must be researching roles for a movie. Come on, remember how scared they pretended to be in Giant Gator 7? <laughs> 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 Come on, Squirt! Those two acting geniuses are gritchersoning into the hilt, and we're missing it! Mom? Dad? Here we go again. Huh? Oh, see? I told you the Gritchersons could handle fanboy Armand. Uh-huh. Looks like a textbook Gritcherson larynx twist to me. Actually, I slipped in a puddle of the Gritchersons' fear snot as they were desperately running away. <gasps> and all I wanted was a few pics of them for my celebrity scrapbook. According to Gritchopedia, the Gritchersons practice kung fu yoga, don't eat pineapple, and poop 400 times a year. But it never said anything about running from fans! That's because it's acting, Squirt. If we split up, I bet we can find them before they wrap. <laughs> That's Hollywood talk. Come on! <laughs> We outran whatever that was. Time for a peace spot check. All clear. You too. Oh, nice work, dear. There you are. It's dinner time. Well, don't you want any of my famous stone soup? I loved you guys in Screaming Zombie Stompers 3D. Oh, how ironic. Get it off me! Get it off me! Ah! <laughs> Look, it's Gretchen Kids! Gretchen Kids! Gretchen Kids has come to save us! Gretchen Kids! <sighs> Please, get us out of here. So, it's true? You weren't just acting scared? but. But you wrestled sharks! You you fought mutant gators! You crashed a jet to get here! Ah, <sighs> guess it's up to old Gretchikins to set the story straight. Again. Oh, I don't do slimy. Stop double! <laughs> you knew this whole time? Sure. You send stunt doubles to all my birthday parties because you didn't trust the candles. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, guys. None of this would have happened if you acted like normal parents, even if you are the world's biggest cowards. You're so right, dear. Oh, Squirt, look at me. We can still love their movies, right? Even if the Christiansons are the world's biggest coward. <laughs> no, we can't. Ah, uh, yeah. Can't. Now, let's go before Mount Fit to Blow explodes. You can act not scared better than anybody! Okay, I can do that. And action! Thanks for saving us. Oh, and by the way, I did notice you borrowed the rescue scene from Lava Luau the Third. So you have seen your parents' movies, Gretch? Oh, only like a trillion times. See, I told you, you could act not scared better than any- ah! oh. <sighs> <gasps> oh, this is so going in the scrapbook.
I get on a full moon? Come on, McGee. I want to get this ritual over with and get out of this disgusting camp. Sorry, Susie, you're right. McGee, ritual over with now. Each year, on the summer's first full moon, we secretly meet to commemorate a sad anniversary. I remember the flushing incident like it was yesterday. Eat up, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> Number 3417, you're a hungry little Ocean Ape, aren't you? Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're a hungry little Ocean Apey Wapey and McGee! Get off of that! Suits so Day! Mom said 5,000 and 10,000 Ocean Apes are mine! <gasps> You tattletale, you get one ocean ape. Take number 5878. He smells gross just like you. Cool! I gotta see what ocean ape farts smell like. And me! Oh! If half the ocean apes are yours, Nikki, then you get them out. Ew, after triple stuff taco Tuesday? Yuck! No way! Yeah. to have pets again. But I, the mature older sister, accepted it, since it was all your fault. As if. What about all the other unfortunate incidents before that horrible night ever happened? <laughs> Susie! <sighs> Come on, Suze, look at us. We can't even honor the memory of the pets we flushed down the toilet without fighting. Yeah, but that's our thing. It's a terrible thing. If we got along... Get along, huh? Maybe. Just maybe. Mom and Dad would let us have a pet again. Pet? Huh? I'm listening. Okay, imagine. Mm -hmm. Us not fighting. Acting like brothers and sisters on TV. <laughs> new ringtone. Where were we? Oh, right. Not fighting. Getting a new pet. Interesting. <laughs> A text. Okay, let's get this ritual over with. <sighs> huh, not uh, bad, McGee. Aw, oh, thanks, sis. That's so awesome. Ah! <laughs> okay, Uncle, Uncle! Maybe it was too soon. Sorry, baby, Brub Brub. Just a reflex. Okay, now let's try this. Getting along. It's our sewer. Uh, wait, wait! Our getting along to get a new pet plan means no backhanded brother racket smashes. Uh, <laughs> I love this game. Listen up, people! We've trained for this very moment. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill! Commence anti Susie protocol. Stop! Oh. Ready, SPD. SPD loaded! Susie perimeter defense online. Ugh. Okay, please, please, can a guy and a sissy lunch together? Um, try the tuna tots. They are chock full of tots. <laughs> oh, I gotta take this call. Later, Rob. Later, sis. Oh, I know, I don't believe it either. But me and Susie are totally besties now. Also, she taught me to say besties. What? to do all the stuff I never had a chance to. Oh, yeah! Ah, okay, I'm all good. Anyone up for a swim? <laughs> ah, my foot! A mute monster's got my foot! Gotcha! <laughs> oh, I never get old. <laughs> you just wait. One day you'll get caught. Ah, a mute monster's got me! For real this time! Remember me, Moogie? <laughs> yes? How are you? Uh, no, sorry, buddy, you don't ring a bell. Well, then, let's see if this ding's a bong. You know, I'd recognize that fart anywhere. It can't be! Ocean 8 number 5878? Ding bong! Wow, you've grown. Whoa, 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 whoa
inseminate! The flushing incident was a terrible misunderstanding, and I... Oh, you know what? I have a quick question. Did you always know how to talk, or...? Oh, of course not! I learned to speak by listening to humans from the pipes above! Now I have an excellent postmabulary! Yes! Excellent! I've searched for you since the day of... the flushing! I finally found you, and now it's pay blurk time! But, but, but it wasn't all my fault! Oh, we know! <laughs> Susie! What do you think of our new claw-crafted aquarium? Not too schmabby, huh? We were your pets. Now you're ours. Welcome to your new forever home. <laughs> we're madly at you. No! Uh, forever? I, I can't drink water for that long. Help anyone? I'm sorry, camper. No can do. Um, excuse me, <laughs> ocean apes. <laughs> what did I do? Humans. You're all alike. And I should know. I spent years living in your sewers. But you two are the worst. <gasps> we only wanted love. But your arguing put a schwend to that with a big, wet, stinky flush. Now, we're going to show you how that <laughs> Wait! Please give us another chance. We always loved you guys the best. Uh, yeah? Why do you think we have a ritual for you every year? Uh, we may be ocean apes, but we're not bloopage, you know. You'll just flush us again. But we're getting along. As Susie is my witness, you shall never be flushed again. Getting along? Really? Oh, never flummushed again? <laughs> so what do we do now? Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah! Fetch, Ocean Apes! Fetch! Fetch, but at least they brought something back, right? Ah, shake, 5878, shake! Oh, Easy, girl. It's just time for a walkie. Who wants to go on a walkie dookie pookie pie? Let's <laughs> walkie dookie pookie pie! <laughs> Who knew we could all find Lerv again? We're so delighted to be your pets. Absolutely delighted. We did it, sis. We'll never argue over our ocean apes again. <gasps> McGee, maybe now we can reconnect with our other pets, too. Oh, except for Piggy McSwine Swine. He was one delicious plate of bacon. So crispy. That was Piggy McSwine Swine? I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was one delicious pet. Other pets? pets? You love other pets? <laughs> there are no other pets, only ocean apes. Leave me out of this. <laughs> Before we become Ocean Ape Chew Toys, I just want to say, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. <laughs> McGee, you're right. This is totally all your fault. <laughs> what? Oh, come on. I was just saying that to be nice. This is actually all your fault. My fault? Yes. <laughs> As if, Ding Bong. And we're back. What, Ding Bong? Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, that's come on. Why are Mommy and Daddy fighting? Stay out of this! <laughs> It's all coming back! They don't nerve us! They only blicker! Blicker and flight! The flushing! The flushing! You've got to fight the flurge! Swim the other way! Fight the flurge by me, seven, eight! Wait, wait, don't leave me alone! <laughs> Sorry about your Ocean 8 pets, guys. Ah, uh, we are so never gonna have pets. 
Uh, hello? Campers? Can someone at least fill our water bottle? <laughs> Point seven. My turn! Watch out for the... <laughs> I think my spleen's feeling better. All right, Slimy, let's do that dive again. Uh, Slimy? He was here a second ago. Where could he be? <gasps> Wherever he is, I think he's in trouble. Look, Slimy's stress ink. <gasps> She couldn't have. She wouldn't have. She might have. <gasps> Come on, guys. We gotta stop Rosebud before she cooks slimy. Hi, Cardinals. Oh, you gotta try this mutant squid ink decongestant. <laughs> Uh. Oh. Ah. Guys, let's ignore that Rosebud's nasal runoff is draining into Lake Icky Gloomy for now. And be happy that she isn't cooking slimy. Cooking slimy? Cardiddles. What kind of an animal do you take me for? 1,001 recipes for mouth-watering, extra tender, uh, Sasquatch barbecue. Oh. Hey, it always pays to be prepared. This moisturizer rosebud got me is absolutely sublime. And it smells like mesquite. Oops. Mustn't forget to moisturize the tenderloin area. Well, wherever Slimy is, at least we know he isn't going to be lunch. <gasps> oh, oh, no. Slimy, is that you? You look so Grumps, yes. That is ultra high grade, almost extinct, super delicious octopus. I source all my endangered butt grade sushi myself in the underbutt. <gasps> Hang on, little sushi. We'll save ya. Not that underbutt. That one. Submarine, of course. That's how we'll find Slimy. Let's go, guys. Ah! <laughs> Slimy, huh? Sounds interesting. Okay, keep your eyes open for Slimy. Giant rock, dead ahead. Both alarm, just a turtle butt. A very ticked off turtle butt. And it's Sam. No. <laughs> Slimy. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew turtles like to play fetch? Slimy! We were so worried about you. We were relieved to see that you're <laughs> <laughs> hanging out with other kids? <clears throat> Time for my triple backflip reverse skill twisting arm stand kite dive! <laughs> Every time. Um, Slimy? All this time you have been hanging out with the bottom lurkers? McGee. Squirt, Gretch. Wow. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? Hey, Miguel. Uh, actually, we're here for Slimy. We were hanging out with him till he took off. Slimy? That's where you were when we texted you? But you said you were doing your taxes. I thought that sounded kind of fishy. What? Down here in Bottom Lake, fishy means totally believable. 
<gasps> it's true. Sammy's phone is full of bottom dweller selfies. <gasps> Why didn't you just tell us you were hanging out with them? Makes perfect sense. <gasps> what? You don't understand Slimy? <laughs> Are you kidding? Of course I do, Spout. You're Slimy! <laughs> Just like you asked! <laughs> That's not what he said! Ow! That's what Slimy said! Ow! But I wish he didn't! Yeah, anyway, we'll get out of here and take Slimy off. Sorry, McGee, but Slimy's staying. Slimy wants us to hang out together. <laughs> well, I guess we could share Slimy. Just as long as we don't have to share him with anyone else or anything else. What? Slimy hangs out with that thing, too? Oh, he'd have never done anything like that back at Lake Bottom. He must have picked it up from you guys. Um, in case you didn't notice, Slimy doesn't belong on land. He's a water breather like us. So go find an air breather to hang out with. It's just not the same. We hung out with Slimy all summer. We know him way better than you do. As if we hung out with Slimy all high tide. We know him way better than you do. And way wetter, too. Not, Not now, now, Slimy. slimy. Mm, ultra high grade species, so rare you can be the last of your kind left. Now that's what I call endangered delicious. <laughs> Slimy stressing! Nothing to see here. Just capturing your delicious friend and making him into sushi. <gasps> Ew! Sushi ink! Stress ink! That's the ticket! Aha! <laughs> uh -huh, we did it! Now quick! Everybody swim! Swim for your lives! Wasn't a cave? <gasps> Even with all this water, I still need to take a long shower. <laughs> a lobster trap? How humiliating! No! Don't worry about us, McGee! Just get Slimy to safety! Hurry! <laughs> Do your worst, Butt Squad! You'll never get to eat Slimy! Never! You may not be sushi quality, but you'll do for a midday snack. No! Slimy! Don't do it! <laughs> the old pretend to turn the mutant fish kids into sushi trick always works. Come here, lunch! <laughs> Slimy! No! After this, my list of ultra-rare lunch items will be complete. And I never thought I'd top white rhino horn pate or squeaky clean squid bowel. Squeaky clean? Squeaky? <gasps> That's it! Squeaky! I got it! McGee, now is the worst possible time for a game of slime and sea. <laughs> Get ready, guys! If I know my squeaky toys, that insanely horrifying monster should be here any second. Okay. Any second. Here we go! Any second now! Sure, I can do this way faster, but I just love the drama. We need more time! We need to distract Butt Squad! We need to... Time for my triple backflip, reverse blade twisting arm stand high dive! Yeah! <laughs> 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 I do! <gasps> now that's drama! How 
glorious, how majestic, how distracting. <laughs> If we learned anything, it's that one weird mutant sea creature should be enough to go around for all of us. We're all really glad you didn't become an exotic lunch item. He says he loves us all and wants us to share him. Uh-huh. <laughs> <sighs> Monster's favorite camp activity. Oh no, a ghost. I'm scared. I hope so very much I do not wet my pants. Well, at, at least we got candy. Don't say candy. Did someone say candy? Less dangerous than the leech licorice. You'd better get started on your canoe trip, campers. Yeah, and don't worry, nothing terrifying will be waiting for you when you get back. <laughs> Guys, we know you're making us a haunted house. We know it's not going to be scary. We know Sawyer's going to use way too much glue. Hmm, a lot you know, McGee. These are staples. Okay, you got us. We are building you camp as a haunted house, but this year we got some scary help. Gluteus Crouch, scare consultant. Does haunted bar mitzvahs and possessed weddings. A scare consultant? La aim. Huh, maybe he has some potential. I... <clears throat> Good luck, guys. Have a safe trip. Be back once the moon is up. Oh, totally. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Three actual monsters would be so bad at summer wing. <laughs> I mean, zero scare factor. Ah! Squirt, look out! Oh, hey, Leggy. I got you those spare flies you asked for. <laughs> These are monsters that know vampires. Why can't they invite them for summer wing? Then maybe we'd truly be scared for once. Scare consultant will actually make this Summerween haunted house scary? <laughs> Not likely, Gretch. It takes a lot to scare us. Ugh. But then again! <laughs> it's about time to hang back anyway! <laughs> okay, guys. Now prepare your pretend horrified faces. Wow, not bad. Step right up to the House of Horrors! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This scare consultant is totally legit! Enter! And have a wonderfully horrifying time! Woohoo! Yes! Oh. Wait, how do we get in? <laughs> wow! If I didn't know this was going to be an interactive ride, I'd have worn my hip waders! Because <laughs> they're hip. Welcome! to the gluteous couch house of horrors. Oh, I get it. The old haunted mansion bit. And you must be one of the ghostly servants. Okay. Watch your step, kidlets. It's dark and dangerous. No worries. I always carry a flashlight. No! Whatever you do, don't turn it on! Attention! Altering the House of Horrors lighting is strictly forbidden. Sorry. Could you just... You have to get out. Listen to me. Get out! Are you still... <laughs> wow, Rosebud. 
You're getting good at this. Okay, go on. Act all scared again. No, no, no. It's not funny. Attention! Activating emergency interruption recall due to unscripted lines. Ah! Thank you. Have a wonderfully horrifying day. Oh. Whoa. This consultant is a total perfectionist. Uh, yeah? This is creepy. Come on, let's see what's next. You think there's an elevator in this place? Welcome to the next level. Going up. <laughs> this is still the best summer weed haunted house ever. <laughs> oh, visitors. I was starting to get so lonely. Now we can all hang out here forever. <laughs> no thanks. Got a jet. <laughs> Step right up and feast your eyes on the horrifying bus monster. Oh. Ambrose, get me out! I know I don't have to tell you this, but bus tastes simply terrible. Hang on, we'll get you out. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. That's a no no, kids. Touching the exhibits is strictly forbidden. Uh oh. Going down. <laughs> that was way grosser than usual. Campers, there you are. This isn't the haunted house we wanted to make. It's that horrible consultant we'd hired. He's evil. You have to get us out. <laughs> well, finish what you were saying, Sawyer. We have to get you what? Ah! Huh? Life jackets? <laughs> I feel safer already. Hey, this is a nice change of pace. You know, from all the stank and horror. Help! Oh, hey, Miguel, what's up? We're captured in House of Horrors. Miguel! It got us! I don't feel safe anymore! Brave, yet fishy smelling kids of Bottom Lake survive? Oh. Find out at the Gluteus Grouch House of Horrors! We gotta help them! Come on, guys! Get out of there! No! Save yourself! Or you'll be his next horror attraction! Attention! You were warned! Touching the monster exhibits is strictly forbidden. <laughs> I can use a number one break. These tracks look so familiar. Wonder if they have something to do with... Who in their right mind would use money as paper towels? Only someone rich enough to wipe his hands on money could afford to build all this. But who's that rich? Hmm. You know, it feels like we're missing something. Something important. Guys? Little help here! Oh. Ah. 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 Hey, I, you may not have hands, but you should still soap up! Consultant won't find us in here. <laughs> One question. What's that noise? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was afraid of that. Prepare to be terrified. Monster on Monster Battle of the Century. Only at the Lake Bottom House of Horrors. Oh, 
Fight monsters battle the humans! Try not to pee your pants. <gasps> you win! This is a scary house of horrors! Yeah! So, uh, just put everything back to normal again, okay? <sighs> I wish I was back in my bookie! As you wish! Wishes do come true. At least we're back at our cabin. Welcome to your very own house of horrors, fear, and environment. No! No! Where nothing will be normal ever again! Guys, I want to go home. If we get out of here, I will never step foot in another haunted house again. Or a zombie-infested mall. Uh, if we get out of here, Gretch, come on! We're not gonna let Gluteus Crouch lock us up in this house of horrors. There's no way this story won't be continued, right? Ah! Dun, dun, dun. What's for lunch? <laughs> what? What's so funny? No! The ultimate horror! Showing up in the mess hall in only undies! I... Hey! The ultimate horror is actually pretty comfy! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! To the right, to the left, and down to... I could took it up again! All right, McGee! To the buns, and I put my buns in down. Oh, yeah! I've never felt so free and airy! Whoa! Ow! Yep, happens to me all the time. Hurry up and get dressed, McGee. Armand's waiting for us. <laughs> An awesome undies only dream was just a dream? Figures. I, unless. <laughs> Wait! If the undies only part of my dream is coming true, what about. Ah, uh, I knew rainbow butt propulsion was too good to be true. Ah. Uh, doesn't matter, because from now on, McGee is rocking only undies! <laughs> Remember, campers, dancing isn't pretty if your booty isn't sweaty. Here we go, here we go, here we go, go, go! And a two, uh, 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 all the way down to the mustard stain. Oh, stage. man, this is a new McGee low. Oh, lighten up, Gretch, didn't you know? Undies only is so hot right now. But McGee! Your butt might catch a cold. Or the butt flu. The butt flu, McGee! The butt flu! It came to me in a dream, Squirt, and it changed my life. I've never felt so free and airy. Well, you sold me. Now, the only question is, which pair should I only wear first? What do you think? Oh, yes. Definitely the smiling face pair. They're so happy. This is going to turn pandemic. we got to get clothes on McGee. Stat! Formal undies. Guys, I always wanted a surprise party and just recently wanted an undies only surprise party. Undies only conga. Undies only conga. I'm so free and. It's okay, Squirt. It's for McGee's own good. Once he sees other people's reactions to his undies only madness, he'll see the light. Undies only conga. What's going on out here? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Isn't that so totally like him to keep this whole undies only thing to himself? Not gonna happen. Undies only is so hot right now. I knew it'd be free and airy, but I never imagined it'd be this free and airy. Undies only for everyone! Undies 
Johnny Conga! Undies on the Conga! Wait, I got it, Grinch! What if we just hide McGee's undies? Yeah, just think about that for a sec. <laughs> ah! oh, I'll never get that visual out of my head! Right. But maybe there is a way to get into McGee's head. So, you need a way to get into McGee's head, huh? I got just the thing. Uh, it's in here somewhere. Aha! My dream entering armception device. How exciting! What's it do? This baby will get you into McGee's dreamland. It's perfectly safe. Um, that is, unless you get hurt in there. If that happens, you get hurt for real. It doesn't sound perfectly safe to me. Let's do this. I'll have you campers in McGee's dream in a jiffy. Ew! Let's get this scheme over with already. If I don't get out of here soon, I will never get the lake bottom stank out of my hair. Do we really have to bring Susie along, Gretch? She terrifies me. I don't want her here either. But no one knows McGee better. Besides, we all want the same thing. Get in, get clothes on McGee, and get out. And no lollygagging. One more thing. Don't let him know he's dreaming, or it breaks the whole quantum dream continuum thingy, and you'll be stuck in there forever. Got it. Okay. Be safe, campers. Wait, forever what? <gasps> wow! McGee's Dreamland, where all the dream undies go to dream. Clothes? You don't need clothes in Undies Only Land. That's what Senor Waste Bandamundo always says. Ew! McGee's Dreamland is gross. Can we just go? Shh, we've got to stick to the plan. The Thrice Daily Undies Parade is starting. <laughs> I'm so excited. On Andy's only day? No. Uh, 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 uh. Let Senor Waste Bendamundo take care of that! Andy's Cannon Star! <laughs> oh, out of my way! I love free giveaways. McGee, you gotta get dressed! Wearing only Andy's is making everyone's life miserable! Uh, Grinch, around here everyone calls me Senor Waste Bendamundo. I am not calling you Senor Waste Bondamundo. Now listen to me, Mr. Sorry, Grant. John is in my ears. I can't hear you. Now let's party! <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Gretchen. This plan has become a total nightmare! Nightmare? That's it, Susie! The only way to stop this dream is to turn it into a terrifying anti undies nightmare. If we make Mickey fear his undies, he'll never want to wear only them again. Gretch, you had me a terrifying anti undies nightmare. Let's do it. Okay. Ooh, an undies only rainbow, Gretch? Oh, I can't wait to see it. Just a few more steps. I promise you won't believe your eyes. <gasps> Wonderware! Oh, everything is so beautiful here. Oh, you should see it when the begonias bloom. Hundy-tastic. <sighs> oh, I wish I could see that. <sighs> Look at me! I'm a big undia! <gasps> Wit, green messing around, squirt! If you keep shape-shifting, McGee will figure out this is all a dream and we'll be stuck here forever. <laughs> Susie Silla! Uh, the name is Senor Waste Bandamundo. Oh, no! Wonderwear! Susie Zilla? You're transforming too? Seriously? Look at me! I'm a banana! <laughs> this is not what we agreed on. My transform into a nightmare Susie Dragon plan just felt better. <laughs> Undies! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Susie terrifies me! Oh, I wish I was in one of my undies only parades right now! Hey, undies boy! We are not to blame! These are to blame! Why? Uh -huh. 
have to break the cozy hold these have on you, McGee, by defeating Susie. Defeat her? And just this? Yeah, I've got an idea about that. I don't mind loaning McGee my clothes. I don't. But I do wish she didn't dream about itchy bottom ivy so much. It's just so itchy on my bottom. Ah! Susie Silla! You can burn our undies, but we'll just make new, better, stretchier undies. For there is nothing to undie but undie itself. McGee! Forget about your undies and go! Gotcha! Oh, I love being a Susie Silla. <laughs> You can roast my undies, but not my friends! <laughs> You're tickling! <laughs> Gotta get Susie Zilla to stop! But how? how? Oh, save us, great warrior! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Nightmare! No! Yeah! Yeah! Our armored hero! <sighs> yes! I think McGee's waking up! <coughs> that never happened. <sighs> no! No more undies only! Hi. Oh, much better. Undies only nightmare is. Ooh, I am oh. loving the freedom of the undies only. So nice and airy. Yeah.